on June 3rd, 2023, we have a Sagittarius full moon. And Sagittarius is a happy fire sign that doesn't like to focus on anything too negative. It's ruled by optimistic Jupiter, so Sagittarius tends to look at the bright side. Full moons tend to be emotional and more serious, but in Sagittarius, we're usually not so serious and can take a lighter approach to the issues, so we're not so caught up and bogged down by the emotions in play. Sagittarius rules our beliefs, so we do tend to be more passionate about what we believe with Sagittarius full moons. We can defend this strongly and passionately. If what we believe doesn't jive with us anymore, we may focus more on finding new ones that do and work to let go of the old ones. Sagittarius also rules higher learning and long distance travel, so we can see some developments regarding education or travel. And Sagittarius rules the law, so we can also see important legal developments or judgments reached. This is generally a time when we want more space to do what we want, to feel free and independent, but sometimes this means acting out impulsively or selfishly and being a bit irrational. We need to make sure our pursuit of space is smart and considerate and responsible. Otherwise, it's not going to lead to the positive outcomes we think it will. Two days after this full moon, Venus enters Leo. And Venus is going to be in Leo for a while, until October 8th, thanks to retrograding in this sign mid-year. We need to prepare for this now so we can manage some of the frustrating energy that is bound to pop up later. And the Sagittarius full moon may prompt us to make sure we have a solid view of the big picture. When problems arise, it's easy to get lost in them, but seeing the big picture can help with perspective and objectivity, and eventually lead to solutions. We can work on blocks to the big picture now with the full moon, and set ourselves up to be in better shape once the retrograde starts. The Sagittarius full moon makes no major aspects to the transit or moving planets, so it's largely operating unimpeded. We should make the most of the positive vibes and the upbeat outlook while we can. For everyone, look at any Sagittarius parts of your natal chart to gauge the impact of the Sagittarius full moon. For those who are a little more advanced, also consider your progressed and return charts, and if in a relationship, your composite chart. By sign, Aries may focus on where you want more of that space with the Sagittarius full moon. You may need to get creative and find space in the existing framework instead of blowing everything up. You can be more optimistic emotionally, and this can help you get ready for the more challenging months ahead. Taurus can work to transform for the better with the Sagittarius full moon. And this can help you feel empowered and allow you to take control of a situation that has been troublesome. Your approach can be more serious, but still not too caught up, and you can get to the heart of the matter to help you solve the problem. Gemini may spend more time with the people in your life with the Sagittarius full moon, and you can grow closer with those you have a good connection with, and give them more support. Those you don't have a good connection with, you can determine if you want to work at it some more, or take steps to walk away, whatever is doable and healthiest. Cancer can be more productive with the Sagittarius full moon. And you may tackle lots of little projects, tasks, and chores. You can get them out of the way, and this can help you feel more emotionally stable and secure. This would also be a good time to work on taking care of any routine maintenance of your tech, your car and home, and your body. Leo may get inspired with the Sagittarius full moon, and this can be a time to focus on what your heart wants. You can make more time for creative projects and hobbies, and this makes you feel good. This can be great preparation for the Venus retrograde in your sign, which may crack your connection to your heart if you don't keep it in mind. Virgo can get in tune with yourself emotionally with the Sagittarius full moon, and you can take care of your emotional needs and strengthen your support system. You may need to strengthen yourself internally or work to remove blocks that have made the foundation of something in your life shaky and unstable. Libra may share what's on your mind with the Sagittarius full moon, and you can share information you have talk things over, and get and give news and advice. You can sort through ideas and finalize plans and can get invested in some of them. Making these choices now can help you once Venus retrograde starts, since Venus is your ruler and you may feel thrown off. Scorpio can work to ground yourself with the Sagittarius full moon and you can feel more stable and secure. You may want to take things slowly and you can be certain before pushing anything forward. You can improve abundance in your life and work on blocks that have kept you from feeling secure lately. 
Sagittarius may want to focus on yourself with the full moon in your sign. This can be time to take care of your own needs, get attention, take care of yourself, and make important decisions. You can see the results of something important as well. This can help you figure out your next steps. Capricorn can feel easily worn down with a Sagittarius full moon, and you may want to take time to get extra rest and recharge. If others are draining on you, then try to get some extra time to be alone and collect your thoughts and emotions. You may get subconscious or intuitive insights that prove beneficial, so pay attention to downloads you receive. Aquarius may push to do things your own way with a Sagittarius full moon, and you can feel more independent and rebellious. You can venture outside of your comfort zone and may feel rattled if you're being boxed in. You can work to remove blocks that have kept you stuck and get yourself out of it. Pisces can get further along your path with the Sagittarius full moon, and this can be your chance to have some success, even some big success this year. You can get rewarded for the hard and smart work you've put in for the things you're passionate about and get recognition. If you haven't done things right, have been lost, or have no passion, you may need to reevaluate what you're doing and work on new goals. So that's it. Wishing you love, like, and pixie dust with the Sagittarius full moon.